Right, first thing you want to do is get yourself a nice hard table, flat table for this to be on, something that will hold its weight. And you want to take your material. Today we're using these envelopes. And you're going to loosen up your center separator tips. There's four across here, depending on the size piece you're going to use. We're going to run the envelope this way. We're going to put this in, and we're going to center this underneath these two center heads, these two center head stops. Drop it down and tighten them up. And you pull it back out and just set them in there. Turn up against it. Then you can set your guides over so that they're close to the piece. You don't want it actually rubbing against it, causing it to bind. About like that. And then you can adjust your, your yoke in the back for where it runs the best for you. We're just going to make it so that it just touches the back end. And that's basically your setup with that. At this point, we can go ahead and get our separator to our, uh, our ink cartridges ready. You want to have paper towel, dampen it, have your cartridges, and just kind of twist and push back. Make sure they're clean. The clip goes up. When you put these in, you put them in on an angle so that they go down in there, but don't push them all the way over. Just leave them hanging off like that. You want the clip to pull it in. So that they look like that. And then the clip should actually pull them in. And for, you want to line up your head approximately where your piece is. Which is basically right about there. And then lock it down with a locking screw here. And make sure your cover is closed at this point. Then you can go ahead and you can plug it in. Hook up your communication cable and turn it on. Okay, it's best to keep everything in the center of the machine. If you need to move your printing, like here, you would want it down a little bit. It's best to move the head because there is a sensor dead in the middle of the machine that your piece must hit. It's like down right directly underneath the here on the base. Um, so you want to try to keep this in the middle so that your piece hits that sensor every time. Also, with maintenance and stuff like that, you can slide these, your side guides out and lift your separator tips and lock them up. And you can go on here and hold down the test button and then hit the plus until it comes up to clutch test and hit enter. This will have your wheels spinning. You don't want to spray directly on the wheels. You just want to take a little rubber rejuvenator that we sell in our store, spray some on the rag, kind of ball it so you don't get it down in the machine, and just rub across each tire. And that's about it for cleaning the wheels. As far as the sensor, the sensor is, slide the head over. The sensor's a circle down underneath the here, right dead in the middle of the machine. And what you want to do is you just want to take a little air and just blow it out on the sensor like that. That's pretty much it. Now, a lot of material, when you get them from the cutter or something like that, the edges are stuck together. You want to make sure that you fan them out. Bang them around a little bit. Make sure they're all broken. And then fan them out like this when you want to go to put them in the machine. We we'll have to reset our separator tips. Set our guides.
It's easier if you have one in there already. And then you want to fan these out so that they look like that. Just lay them down in there. 